Hey guys, so this week we're going to be talking about travel and EDC organization and the item we're going to be taking a look at is the GORUCK wire dop. And so this is an item I've had my eye on for a while and I've always been really intrigued by its super slim form factor. Not to mention I really like the simplicity that it seemed to have, especially compared to a lot of the other travel organizers that we've had on the channel. Items such as the Backsmart cable organizer which I've shown in a lot of my videos as well as the Power Packer, which you know are both really great organizer, but they do have a lot more you know different compartments and things that might almost make it easy to get overwhelmed with the amount of stuff you carry with you on a day to day. So there was something really appealing about the simple design of the GORUCK wire dop, and much like all the other GORUCK items that I've used in the past, it seemed to have a really great quality, nice simple aesthetics, and I was just really excited to get my hands on it and see how well it compared to the other organizers that I'm used to traveling with. And so if you haven't seen the videos that I've done in the past for items such as the Power Packer and the Bagsmart Cable Organizer, I definitely recommend you check those out and I've gone ahead and included the links to those in the info tab above and in the description below. And I have to say the GORUCK Wired Up is an excellent addition to kind of this collection of organizers. It does a great job of holding its own against all the other organizers that I've used in the past and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Wired Dop from GORUCK. So just starting out with the overall look and aesthetic of the Wired Dop. If you've used any GORUCK products in the past, this is definitely going to feel very familiar. The wired up uses the same tough 1000D Cordura material that the GORUCK bags uses, so it feels really durable and like it's definitely going to hold up well over the long term. The first thing that stood out to me as I was first looking into the wired up is that this is kind of the epitome of simplicity to me. It's super simple, it just has the one buckle, it's a very flat design, very unassuming, it just has the one patch on the front. Same size patch as you'll find on all of GORUCK's bags. This here is the Deadpool patch that I have on my GR1. As you can see, it fits there very comfortably. So you can put any patch that you want to on here. If you have some of those patches that you can actually label, you can add that here. And if not, you can just leave it off. I haven't noticed it to attack too much debris either, so that's a little bit of an added bonus. And so as I mentioned, it has a really simple look. I really like how clean everything is and how easy it is to access. This one buckle system is really quick and easy. It feels very sturdy. It's got a really nice durable plastic here. And I love how easy it is to access that as opposed to something that has a full zipper that goes around. And so in a second, I'll do a size comparison with some of the other organizers that I mentioned in the intro to the video. But the first thing I want to mention is that when I first got this, I was really surprised at just kind of the size of the wired up so it was a little bit bigger than I thought it would be which is actually really positive because one of the things that I've noticed as I've been packing a lot of bags throughout the past couple of years is that when things are wider and longer you can actually pack everything flatter and so even though this is pretty filled up with a lot of kind of bulky accessories you'll notice that it stays really flat and this makes it very easy to fit into a variety of different pockets so one of my favorite things about the wired up and how slim it is is that it actually makes a lot of the kind of slimmer slant pockets that bags have these days, pretty useful. So as you'll see in the footage here, I'm actually able to fit this very well into the front pocket of the GR1, which is not a very useful pocket on its own, but it seems to be very well designed to work with the wire adopt. So now with this, it makes it very easy to put some of my favorite accessories there and, and be able to make really good use of that quick access pocket. This also works for a variety of other bags that I've come to find have that same kind of slim front pocket that's not all that useful on its own, but this actually turns that pocket into the perfect spot to store all of your quick grab essentials. So as you'll see on the footage here, I've also included this in the Air Travel Pack, which is one of my favorite travel backpacks. And I've never quite used that front pocket very much, but now as I've been traveling with it during the past couple of weeks, with the wire dot, it's definitely become a very useful pocket. And I also tested this out with the Recycled Firefighter 24-hour backpack, which is one of my favorite EDC bags that I've been trying out recently. And so as you can see, it works really well with that slim front pocket that it has and also with the inner mesh pocket that the bag has, which is very similar to the one that the GR1 has on the inside. So overall, I just really like how well this fits into a variety of slim pockets that I wouldn't be able to put an organizer in typically. And so as I mentioned, I just really love the size of the wire dot as well as the slim form factor. What I have here is the Bagsmart cable organizer that you've seen me use in a lot of other videos. And as you can see, they're actually really similar in size. So here is the Bagsmart cable organizer on top of the wire dot. And so, Right now, the Backsmart organizer is empty, whereas the wire dop has a bunch of accessories in it, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. But you can see that even with the accessories in it, the wire dop is not that much thicker than the Backsmart cable organizer. And it's very similar in size, so I really love, I've used this bag, I've used this organizer for a long time. One of the bigger complaints that I had with it is that when it had bulkier items, it could sometimes pop up a little bit more than I would have wanted. But that's something that somehow the wire dop seems to manage a little bit better. And so another thing to note is that the Backsmart Cable Organizer has 
a zipper that goes all the way around. So it is, takes a little bit longer to actually open it. And it also has a little bit more internal organization. And so this will depend a lot on what you're looking to organize and what your packing style is. And so I kind of like both of these. So I'll probably you know, use this for different purposes than what I would use the wire dot for. And this also offers just a little bit more protection from the elements. If you happen to be carrying this outside of your bag, the zipper offers a little bit of water protection and the material itself is not going to allow things to easily get in. Whereas with the wire dop, you just have the clip and this is kind of exposed to the air on the inside. The pockets are meshed, so there's not a whole lot of protection. So this is definitely something that's meant to live inside of your bag, but both work really well. And the one that works best for you will really depend on the different items that you're going to carry with you and how you like to organize them typically. Another item that I wanted to compare this with is the Power Packer, which we featured a little while back on the channel. And so far, I've loved using the Power Packer. I still use this on my day to day as a nice complement to the wired up. And so this one has a lot of different kind of pouches and pockets and bands for you to be able to use. And if you want to get an in-depth look at all the different things that I you know, would typically use this for, I definitely recommend checking out the video in the description below. And so this one gets a little bit thicker than the wire dop, as you can see. This is also due to the amount of stuff that I have in here, but I think it also has to do with just how slim it is here. So because it's slimmer, it actually pops up a little bit more. And so it's really nice to have an alternative such as the wire dop to be able to fit in those slim pockets that I showed earlier in the video. This would definitely not fit inside the front pocket of the travel pack or the GR1. So although I like using both of these, I really like the versatility that the wire dop has to offer. And so the last pouch that I want to mention here is this Molly pouch from Orca tactical which is another great alternative it's kind of an in-between in my opinion between the wired up and the bag smart cable organizer it has a lot of really great internal organization it has a zipper similar to the bag smart organizer it opens flat has a lot of like cool little bands and it has a little bit more of that tactical look it also has molly attachments if you want to put this on the outside of your bag if it has that sort of system and to me, this is a really great middle ground between the wire dop and the back smart adapter because it's just a little bit cheaper than the wire dop, as we'll cover later in the video. But it also offers a lot of the benefits that the back smart organizer does while maintaining a, a nice tactical military look. It even has a Velcro on the front where you could attach a, a patch very similar to the way the wire dop has it. If you don't need to handle as many bulky accessories, I definitely recommend checking out this Orca tactical pouch. As I mentioned, I really love kind of this enclosure on the outside. It's very simple, very quick to open so you can get to anything you need to very easily. I love the use of mesh throughout all the pockets so you can easily see what's in every pocket. And I really love its simplicity. So sometimes with some of those other organizers that I was showing, it can get a little stressful to make sure that everything stays in its place, that certain items fit in the little rubber bands that are included. And so sometimes it's really nice to just have kind of like bigger pockets where you can put a bunch of different stuff that you typically use together and then just be able to access it very quickly. Not to mention, I also feel like this can be a little bit more secure sometimes because when I open the bag smart cable organizer, sometimes I feel like things can fall out of the band. And so if I open it and I'm not paying attention, I get worried that I might lose something like this little USB stick here. Whereas here, I can open it and see everything at once. And since they're all zipped up, there's no chance that any of them are gonna fall. Simplicity is the name of the game with the wired up. So it has three zippered pockets, all with YKK zippers with paracord pulls. So it's just really simple design and definitely maintaining that GORUCK aesthetic. It has one larger pocket on one of the sides, and then the other side is divided into two equally sized smaller pockets. And so the first thing I'm gonna look at is the large pocket here on the left. And so I've been really impressed, as I mentioned a few times during the video, with how well this bag handles bigger items. So if you look at GORUCK's promotional videos, this is where they would put their laptop charger if you have a MacBook or something like that. So what I went ahead and did in here is put a few of the bulkier items that I typically carry with me. So the first one here is a retractable HDMI cable, which you know is really nice to reduce cable clutter and tangle, but it is a little bit bigger of an item, so it doesn't work as well with some of my slimmer organizers. And then the other item that I have here is something that I found recently, and I've been really excited because I was looking for it for a long time, is a USB hub that has a USB-C port that's powerful enough to charge my MacBook Pro. And I've loved the idea of being able to just carry this hub that has a few USB ports to charge a few different devices as well as my MacBook directly from this USB-C port. And so I spent a lot of time on Amazon looking through a bunch of different options of these. You know, Anchor and Aki have some good ones, but this is the best one that I found as far as price to value. So this is from Neck Tech, and I'll make sure to link to that in the description below. And I really love this because in the past, if you've watched my videos, you know that I always carry some sort of USB adapter like this with me, whether I'm going about my day to day or if I'm traveling because it's just really convenient 
to reduce the amount of chargers that I have to carry with me. I typically just get somewhere, pull this out, and I can plug in multiple devices. And now with the addition of the USB-C port, it just simplifies my overall carry. As you can see, I don't have any separate laptop charger here. And then as an added bonus, this USB hub actually included a USB-C to USB-C cable. So it was kind of the perfect find for me. And so this accessory has really simplified what I have to carry with me on a day to day and works great for charging my MacBook and all my other devices. And it fits super well into the bigger pocket here of the wired up. Moving on to the two smaller pockets. The first one I'm gonna look at here at the top has just a few different accessories that I like carrying with me no matter where I go. The first one is this cable from Chiffon, which has a bunch of different connectors for the different devices that I carry with me on a regular basis. So it has USB-C, Lightning, a few micro USBs. So everything that I typically need for the day. And then I also have a really simple just tablet and phone stand in here. I love how flat this is and it's super cheap. So I never have to worry about losing it. And so those are the only things I have in that pocket, but there's still a little bit of room left over in case I wanted to add a few more accessories. And so moving on to this last pocket here on the bottom, I have a wired pair of headphones just as a backup. I typically use AirPods, but I still like to have a pair of these with me in case I'm flying or in case I run out of battery or something like that. And then I also have a USB-C hub for my MacBook Pro that has all the ports that I typically need with me on a day-to-day -day basis. And then the last thing I have here is a USB 3.0 memory stick that also is able to plug into my iPhone, so it has a lightning port there. And so as you can see, very simple overall, but super effective. I was really impressed with just how well the wired up worked for organizing everything that I needed on a day-to-day -day basis. And I really love how easy it's made for me to make use out of pockets that I typically wouldn't use and also to just switch from bag to bag. So I'm definitely excited to continue using this as part of my daily carry and see what other cool uses I find for it. And so overall, I've really enjoyed using the GORUCK wired up. It's done a great job of maintaining the quality, the simplicity, and the thoughtful design that I've come to expect from other GORUCK products. And it's just been a really useful addition to my EDC and to my travel gear. And so you can actually purchase the wired up from GORUCK's site for about $35. However, if this is the only thing you purchase, since your order will be below a certain threshold, you'll probably have to pay for shipping. And so I live in Florida, which is really close to GORUCK HQ, and I still had to pay about $7 in shipping plus tax. It came out to almost $45 for the GORUCK wired up. I do think $35 and possibly even $45, as was my experience, is a little bit expensive for an item such as this. You know, even though it's really effective, it's a very simple item. And so as with GORUCK's other accessories, you do end up paying a bit of a premium, you know, especially for the fact that it's made in the US and the lifetime warranty that it comes with. And it does feel super well built. So, you know, when you buy something like this, you do know you're gonna be having it for a very long time. Not to mention that it does have a very unique design. I haven't found any other accessory organizer that quite matches this design. And so as we mentioned during the video, I was just really impressed how it manages to stay really slim, even when I put kind of bulkier items in it. And so even though it was a bit of an investment, it was worth it to me just because I really wanted this type of organization. And I'm a bit of a GORUCK fanboy, as you've seen in my videos in the past. I really love their products and I have had a great experience so far. So the premium price is worth it to me. However, it's definitely a little bit tough to justify paying this much for such a simple accessory. Some of the other accessories that I mentioned during the video are a little bit cheaper and they're still great organizers. So items such as the BagSmart cable organizer, which I've showcased in the past, is about 15 to $20. So it's about half the price and it offers a little bit more organization. It has a zipper to help keep your items a little bit more protected than the snap closure of the wired up. And it also has a really sleek look. So if you're not super into the GORUCK brand or you don't really need that specific form factor, I do think that the BagSmart cable organizer is a great alternative. Another item that we featured in the past is the Power Packer, which is about $40. So it's kind of closer in that price range to the GORUCK. And so that's a really great product as well and something that I still use on a day to day for a lot of the different smaller items that I need those little elastic organizers for. And depending on the different needs that you may have, or if you prefer to have a little bit more, you know, kind of pockets and organization, I may recommend going towards the Power Packer instead. And another option that I showcased a little bit earlier in the video is the Molly Organizer Pouch from Orca Tactical. And this is another really interesting item. It's got a very slim form factor. It opens up flat so that, and it has a lot of little elastic bands and organizers. So that may be the best middle ground that I found because it's got a little bit of that organizational style and options that the BagSmart Camel Organizer has, but it also has a little bit more of a tactical feel if that's kind of the thing that you're looking for to match your GR1 or something like that. 
And on top of that, it also has a really reasonable price. It comes in between $10 and $15, depending on the color and you know when you're able to get it on Amazon. So it's a lot more reasonable, a lot cheaper. It may not last quite as long, but it still feels really solid. And overall, I just love combining all these different organizers, depending on the different things I wanna carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. And I look at the wire dop as just a great complement to some of the things that were still kind of floating around in my bag, as opposed to being able to be contained in a pouch. And if you don't mind the premium price and you want something that's gonna last you a really long Long time and offer a minimal but effective amount of organization, I definitely recommend you take a look at the GORUCK wire dop. So if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.